Hey everyone, welcome back. You're watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, I will walk you through a call center performance dashboard developed in Microsoft Excel and Power Pivot. So let me open this first. So if you look at this, uh, this is the call center performance dashboard and this we have developed using uh, Power Query, DAX, Power Pivot and Excel. So before going through all these, you know, pages where we are covering multiple KPIs and performance by different categories. Uh, let me walk you through uh, the structure of the dashboard first how have been uh, it has been structured so in the last sheet if you look at this we have a raw data feed where we have a multiple columns and this is the pure data basically and pure raw data having like we have year column month name month week ending these are the formula driven column and then we have actual data that is date agent uh, team leader department call calls uh, total number of calls assigned and then call handle and then we have a call event and resol uh, resolutions, average speed of answer, uh, average handle time, total survey, CSAT score, and then total promoters, total passive, total detractor. So these are the columns which we have, I mean, consider in a raw data feed. And basis on that, we are calculating. So first of all, what we are doing, we are loading it to uh, this Power Query. I mean, in the Power Query, we are loading uh, this data set. So let me show you. So I mean, once we we loaded this in Power Query, we are not making any changes if you look at this. But as an intermediate platform, we are using that in case if you want to make any changes in Power Query, you can come and do that. OK, but for now, because our data is clean, so we are not making any changes. Once we load that, we are loading it to our data model, cruise and load to data model. And once we do that, then we are I mean, we have created a several pivot table and calculation. So. Uh, before that, let me go through this pivot uh, pivot table basically. Like, let me select any table here, and then uh, this. Uh, let me go to the data. Then we have pivot manage data model. Okay. So after loading to the Power Query, then again we are loading to the Power. Uh, 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 data model to this excel application basically and then we are feeding this i mean we are taking the same data in our power pivot so in our pure power pivot you can look at this we have a flat one table we don't have any relationship it's a very simple table right and then we have a multiple kpi which we have calculated here using tax formula so i'll explain all this this is how i mean once we load this in power uh, power pivot do the calculation then we are creating a pivot table basis on that and that is not a normal pivot, it's a power pivot. So it will have a more capability to handle the data and provide more insights using DAX formula. So let me close this. And then let's come to the second worksheet where we have you know, given the reference of all the metrics which we are using, like how many total number, total calls we have, what is it? Uh, when total call handle, so total calls, this should be handle, right? And then what is the event rate from the formula for DAX basically like call resolutions, average speed of answer, EHT, uh, total survey, C set score, customer satisfaction score, promoter percentage, passive and detractor and then NPS. Okay, so these are the basic de definition. I mean, how can we do in the calculation? And this is the DAX formula, which we are using to uh, derive all these insights or metrics, right? Then post creating that we are adding on more, more internal worksheet that is a support worksheet and where we are creating a multiple uh, summary i mean if you look at this we have a different summary here like we have a diamond mean, basis on selection all these we are switching using this uh know, dynamically to show the different metrics uh, performance then we have all the metrics what is the format whether it's a number format and percentage and then value then we have a you know, month on month uh, all the metrics performance we are plotting here and then we have like you know key metrics all the metrics overall it's not by month it's not by any category then again department by abandoned rate then uh, this we are using to switch uh, dynamically basis on selection then we have nps satisfaction score by department then we have a data to create a uh, speedometer for csat then we have a data i mean this is data for uh, creating the NPS chart, then call resolutions and NPS and all this, and then funnel chart for resolutions. Okay, total number of calls answered, resolutions, and then we are showing this. So this is how we have internally structured the data, and these are the automatically. If you look at this, is a formula-driven basis 
coming from some some details are coming from the pivot table some data is coming from the summary here okay so this is support data sheet that is the purpose of this support data sheet is for internal purpose so you do not need to come here i mean let's hide it and let's jump to the executive dashboard here so uh executive dashboard is the landing page and if you look at this in this dashboard uh so we have a beautifully visualized in the headers then we have a different tab showing like executive dashboard uh department uh performance then we have team performance then have we have weekly performance so this will give uh, i mean entire view of managing your call center right and then on top if you look at this we have provided a button so that you can jump on raw data section in case if you want to get the operational definition of any of the metrics you can click on that and you can come to this operational definition page metric reference and again if you want to look at this raw data you can come to here then we have provided a button on top home button and you can come here if you want to switch to our i mean uh, our youtube channel you can go and uh, click on that here okay so let's come to this uh, i mean let's uh, understand all this structure how we are uh, deriving the insights using this dashboard so in executive dashboard uh, if you look at look at this on top we have a uh, several cards like total calls how many total calls how many we have answered what is the abandoned percentage then average speed of answer in seconds and then est now coming to down here we are providing a summary like uh, i mean using gauge chart you can look at this we are showing the nps performance and then a split of nps like uh, what is the detractor percentage passive and promoter coming to the right side we have call resolutions uh, that is a funnel chart so how many calls we are receiving and out of how many we have answered like 90.4 we have answered and then how many of them we have uh, no, i mean we provided the resolutions right whether we have collected some amount or maybe you know provided uh the end uh, user customer support so this is and then uh using this donut chart basically we are visualizing 58.2 data the call resolutions percentage okay now coming to the right uh we have a customer satisfaction score if you look at this uh, this uh speedometer chart is showing 3.9 so our customer satisfaction score is 3.9 and then the same i mean uh, customer satisfaction score we are showing by the department like we have a different department uh, air condition freeze micro and television toaster and washing machine so what is the customer satisfaction of each and every department okay now coming uh, down here we have nps by department uh, that is the bar chart basically and then we have a call handle and resolutions by department for uh, for in each and every department how many calls we have handled and what is the resolutions percentage for each and every department right then we have a call abandoned by department Okay. and that is the column chart then uh we have a trend a uh, trend chart basically like we are providing a trend analysis of all the metrics by months okay so for here we have provided a bottom so that you can dynamically uh, select each and every metrics i mean the required metrics and you can see how it's trending so for now we have selected total calls that's why it's showing the total calls and if you look at this uh if the total calls number format is number it's showing the number in case the selected matrix let me show you the like call resolutions percentage so if you select the call resolution percentage this chart will automatically uh, start showing uh, the data for call resolutions percentage by department and it will show in a percentage so this is how we, our call resolutions is trending in case if you want to go to uh, select nps it will start showing the data for nps and for all the metrics so this is very dynamic view i mean it's a very user friendly you just need to come here and select and see how each and every matrix is performing month on month okay so these are the visuals uh, or charts which we are using to provide insights apart from that we are also providing some slices like year month name department then uh, department then team leader and and the last one is agent name so using these slicers or you can say filters you can slice and dice the data and you can see on the performance by uh, different category okay so this is the first page uh, let's come to the uh, department performance so let me click on department and in this in this page uh, we are providing the performance by department like suppose you will be selecting any of the department from here it will show the performance of that particular department how many calls we have handled then answered have done uh, esc and est again uh, all the metrics like we are providing a drop down here for this column chart so that you can come and select any of the metrics and see how 
that particular department or all the departments is uh, performing against that matrix okay then on right we have nps percentage a detractor i um, mean detractor passives and promoter how all the departments are performing okay which has the majority of i um, mean uh, percentage in uh, promoter basically like so this is how you can get the insights now coming to the bottom we are providing a table with department like the department then month name and all the metrics called everything okay again the same way like in the executive dashboard we provided a slicer we have all the slicer here using or any of the slicer you can go and check uh what is the performance like let's me let me select this aro sharma and if i will select this aro sharma uh it will show the data for that particular team leader only look at this how this team leader is performing so this team leader is involved in only two of the department freeze and machine and that's why it's showing this freeze okay so let me remove this filter and let's come to the uh, third page that is team wise performance so in team performance same all the cards and then we have uh, this column chart with drop down by team leader then we have a uh, nps arm and detractor passive promoter by team leader and then we have a table by team leader so this is by team leader performance then come to the weekly performance so click on weekly and then same uh, all the cards here and then at bottom we are providing a table by week ending how many calls call call answered abandoned est ac resolution satisfaction score promoter and detector so all these are metrics are available you can easily come switch to different pages to get the insights and uh, it's very easy to use operate and uh, update your actual data so in case if you want to configure your data you do not need to do anything you just need to come to the raw data feed and from starting from column e until uh, column s you just need to delete the entire data i mean this data set right and feed your entire uh, feed your data actual data in respective columns and then come to the home page and then data and then refresh all so once you refresh all everything will be automated i mean refresh year month even the department everything will be refresh so you do not need to worry it's a very i mean user friendly and you can easily update your raw data and start using so hope you like this video in case if you are interested uh, to download this premium product uh, you can visit our website uh, the www.datalabs.org and from here in this from this page you can download it here we have already provided the link uh, download in the description box you can go and check thanks for watching have a great day bye bye